Greetings to you wherever you are in this world. This is Michelle Strickland. The Most High wanted me to come out here on this on this day and talk to you. What I can possibly say to you, I don't. I'm not really sure. Except that the one thing that I know that's really important is to choose love people and not hate choose love not hate what do you do when all you want is to love to be held to be told That somebody cares about you, but all you get is rejection and torment and despair and condemnation, judgment from from a world that always misunderstands you. And never sees the true essence of your spirit. The only one's love. Misunderstood. Cast out. Pushed down. Beat up. Talked about. Laughed at. This is a cruel world we live on. But I always wake up every day believing and hoping. That that day will be different from the days before. Always seeking love. Always looking for happiness. But hardly ever finding it and not knowing what it feels like. To have that intimacy with somebody who, who really, who really loves me and wants to cherish me. And I feel sorry for these miserable people on this earth. And I don't understand How people can be so hateful and judgmental and cruel and to be ganged up on by people who have never had a conversation with me ever, but to be stalked and harassed for what? For what I say, I'm single. I just do what I do to survive every day in an honest way. But I still have hope for this future that there is a bright day, that there is love out there that there is compassion but every day I wake up it always seems the same wake up to jealousy stalking
it still goes on. And for what? For what? And people will not account for it. But they continue to be abusive. And they don't understand. I'm a person. I'm a real person. It's like being locked in a glass case for people to just look and gawk and scorn and mock like I'm their whipping child. But I'm sure I'm not the only one out here. Um, God wanted me to come out here because I try so hard to be happy and spread happiness because maybe the one smile that I show to someone would be that one smile that gets them through the rest of their life somehow. I just want this world to change somehow. Just somehow. I realize there's probably really some good people out here. But I just want people to stop treating people like they're, they're objects. Like a stick out there on the grass or something, you know. Easy to break. And this toss. I don't know where I'll go from here. I know I will continue to hope and continue to dream and continue to try and reach out to people and ask them to change their way of thinking as there's too much division. There's too much of all of the wrong thing to do. And for people to be so cruel and heartless to target individuals that they know are vulnerable and still have no sympathy or empathy for what it is that they are doing to someone through their harassment instead of edifying they try to destroy and at some point it's gotta stop it's just gotta stop my prayer for this world my small prayer for this world is that you stop hating that you embrace the different that you give people a chance by talking to them see what they're about don't fit, fall for the gossip and the slander because the very pe person or that you are trying to destroy may be the very person that needs that I hand up off of the curb because of all the abuse that they've gone through in their life, but they try to put the good face on. Not out of weakness, but from strength. And they still want the best. They still search for Happiness that never comes. They still seek love that rarely shows up. But they always have hope that it's out there. And they'll find it one day or it will find them. I don't know what I'm saying. Anybody will ever get it. I was resting. I had a kind of a rough day today. You know, I'm being spiritually attacked. You know, I don't know what has happened, but 
you know, it's, this is a big situation that I'm going through and it's really huge, but I've been targeted and there's no, what I, there's no, I don't do anything to anybody. So the investigations are bogus and false. And that's what's sad about it. And to have to see the one of the people, the people that I think is the harasser drive past my house every, almost every day when I notice when I'm looking out. It just makes me sick in my stomach to see how upside down and inside out this whole society is. I've been dealing with this stuff for about three years, relentlessly. And no one has yet to even bother to explain to me why they're doing it. And I have all the proof. I literally had people following me as soon as I left my house in, in on foot on in cars. Oh my god. And nobody seems to care. Nobody seems to care what they're doing to me. It's like I don't matter. All of these crimes against humanity, against what, against for what, and you know, because I love God, because I've, I've, I gave my life to help people. I don't know how this video will be perceived, but I want you to know. I still look for a brighter future. I still look for love. And I still have hope. Because I believe that God is real. And I know that there will be a change in humanity. I will see the change somehow and someday. But I only ask during a month of October, it's National Anti-Bullying Month, that you consider how you treat other people, you know, instead of being sharp with them, hold your tongue, you know, maybe try to ask them what's going on if you think they're strange or something like that. Instead of just attacking them, getting in groups and attacking someone. Stop. It's going on everywhere on this earth. All I want is for humanity to find itself again. Find your humanity. Find your compassion. Stop bullying people. Stop feeling comfortable being mean and evil to someone. That especially you don't even know who they are. You just going off of how they look. I have been made fun of even in church when I went to church. Because I didn't have I didn't have good clothes when I was young. You know? And somebody made fun of me to the minister's wife. This is a church. As a child, people always looked down on me and expected less from me. I had good times. Everybody wasn't completely bad. But the majority of my life has been, has been filled with a lot of just being the whooping child for the whole world. It's like, let's, let's pick on her. And nobody understands how that has a, can have an effect, but I still seek happiness, love, joy. 
I laugh every chance I get. I laugh every chance I get. But I'm going to end this because I really don't know what to say other than I'm going to keep trying to make a positive change. Maybe I can reach one person and they will change and treat people better because I reach out in love. Because I still smile and I still want the best for everyone.